This video is made possible by Chevrolet of Naperville. Chevy of Naperville is located off Ogden Avenue in Naperville, Illinois, and they have tons of new and used Chevys on their lot. Whether it's an SUV, truck, sedan, or sports car, Chevy of Naperville will have what you want. Check them out at www.chevroletnaperville.com or in person at 1515 West Ogden Avenue in Naperville, Illinois. All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm driving a 2019 Chevy Blazer RS. The Chevy Blazer has a 3.6 liter V6 and 9 speed automatic transmission. In the original video, I accidentally said 3.5 liter, but it is in fact a 3.6 liter V6. Before we get going, I really want to give a big shout out to Chevy of Naperville. They pulled this car off of the showroom. I stood there as they moved cars around to make way to get this car out of the showroom and into my hand. So huge shout out to them. I'll give you more information at the end of the video, but this is the freshest of the fresh. This car actually doesn't officially go on sale until April of 2019. So this is cool. This is, this is cool. Let's get back to that 3.5 liter V6. There is another engine offered in the Blazer. It's a smaller 2.5 liter inline four, but we're not gonna talk about that because we are in the RS. Why would we talk about that? You guys know why we love dealership reviews. We get to go on the test track and do some test track sends. So <laughs> you heard me stutter for traction a little bit there it is 27 degrees outside but you could feel the lightness of the suv over that engine man <laughs> now this is front wheel drive they do offer an all-wheel drive blazer but this is the front wheel drive model so let's talk about the interior well in front of me i have two real gauges on either side on the left is my tachometer with an almost 7,000 rpm red line which is sweet on the right i have fuel coolant temperature voltage all that sort of stuff and then in the middle i get a digital speedometer which i can actually change to just digits which is super helpful on the steering wheel on the left i have cruise control collision warning system and a heated steering wheel which i am taking advantage of to the fullest at the moment it's really nice i wish all cars had this in the midwest because the heated steering wheel will save your hands then on the right of the steering wheel you have your selector options this will help you go through the main screen uh, voice activation caller all of that sort of stuff to the left of me i just have power windows only the driver's window is fully automatic so one hit down, one hit up. But on the door, I actually do get two different power seat memory seats. So if you have multiple drivers, you can have two different settings of seats. Really, really appreciate that. Interestingly, down way at the bottom, I actually have a little dial on the door that has the tailgate and it says max three fourths or off. So I guess you can actually open up the tailgate only three fourths. That's huge for people that don't have big garages. To the right, I have my infotainment system. This will be my maps, music, apps, all this stuff. You can actually set driver users. That'll be based off the key. And you can actually set parental settings through here. So if you do have a kid who's in high school, you can limit the car to say 70 miles an hour. You can limit the stereo. It can't be cranked up as much. Another really cool thing is that it has not only Apple CarPlay, it also has Android Auto for you Android users. And it has a Wi-Fi hotspot in which you can set up. Also in the settings, you can set a rear seat reminder. So when you get out of the car, it'll remind you that there's something in the back seat. So to the right of the entertainment system, there's a button that says glove box. And I didn't notice this until now, uh, here's my actual reaction to finding this button. Oh, sick! The glove box has a button! So you hit the button, glove box opens automatically. That is cool. That's neat. Is it necessary? No. Is it neat? Yes. Down below that, you get your heating and cooling controls, heated seats, which have three different bars of heat as well as cooled seats, which have three different bars of cooling. Speaking of the heating and cooling, Chevy does probably the coolest heating and cooling controls of any cars that I've ever driven. And that is you turn the entire vent 
for fan up, fan down to change the temperature as it all just turns on right now. Let me turn that off. I really like that. It cuts down on the amount of buttons you use and you turn the whole vent. So it's almost like a hidden button. You feel like you're like pulling the right book on a hidden bookshelf doorway. It feels really, really cool and I really like that. The Chevy Camaro also had that. The 2018 ZR1 that I reviewed and the, actually did the 2017 had that as well. Then in the center, you get two USB ports. You do get a wireless charger for your mobile phone. Awesome, awesome feature. Then you have the shifter parking sensor buttons and your mode button. So right now we're in regular. I can turn it to sport mode, snow mode, and that's it. So let's switch it here. Sport mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, I did not mean to do that. I mean, I meant to do that, but I didn't mean for it to go that hard then of course have a center console and it is a four-door they actually don't make a two-door blazer which thank you for not doing a two-door blazer i don't understand two-door suvs they make no sense to me but it is a four-door so we will do a back seat review all right so i am in the back of the 2019 chevy blazer rs first thing i notice is that the red trim carries on to back here not all manufacturers when they do upgraded trim does it carry on to the back seats? I do have heated seats here on the door. I actually get one setting of rear heated seats, which is very nice. Down here, I get two USB chargers and an actual outlet. This is awesome because I, I don't understand why more cars haven't done this in the past, but there's an actual outlet back here. You could plug whatever you want into it. All cars should have that. That's just, all cars should have that. Center console is actually kind of tiny, but it does have two cup holders. No storage as it seems like. Plenty of room. The driver's seat is where I was driving and I can fully move my knees. A lot of room and I think that's why a lot of people really like SUVs. They get good gas mileage now. They have plenty of room. They have ride height for in the winter. They're really a win, 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 win all around. And so really, I would be very comfortable back here for quite some time. Now, last thing I'll mention about the interior is that it has these really cool RS red accents. This is part of the RS package. If you buy a base model Blazer, you're not gonna get these red accents everywhere. I think they look really good. You know, as someone who's a car enthusiast, I really, really like that. I think it adds a sportiness. It's not overdone. It doesn't look like someone took AutoZone paint and spray painted the interior. Fun fact, Actually, the second RX-7 that I bought had a legitimately spray-painted interior. The previous owner spray-painted with a red rattle can the inside, and it was oversprayed everywhere. It was a terrible experience, but this doesn't look like that. This looks proper. It looks like it's supposed to be there because it is. The only other thing I don't like about the Blazer is that it has the auto stop start feature. If you don't know what this is, the auto start stop feature actually shuts off your car when you're at stoplights. So I'll pull up to the stop sign on the test track here. It turns off. And unfortunately, I don't see a button in here to turn that off. Let's see if we can go into the settings. I currently don't see anywhere in here where you can turn off the auto start stop. If there is, please leave a comment down below if I just can't find it. But I really wish that I could turn off that feature. I really don't like that feature. Just because coming from me, and owning a 1985 Mazda RX-7, sometimes it shuts off at stoplights too, but then it doesn't turn back on. And that has, I think, given me anxiety that when the car shuts off and you hear everything go quiet, you go, all right, well, here's the next three hours of my life. So maybe that's just me, but I'm not a big fan of the auto start stop feature. So last but not least about the 2019 Chevy Blazer RS, it's just look at it. This SUV looks awesome. I really think the redesign went really well. It looks aggressive, it looks sporty, and this is the best paint color. I'm sorry, but it is. This red color is my favorite blazer color. This SUV looks, it looks great. Really, it does. It's sporty. As you saw, it's quick. The blazer is back and it is packing a punch. I'm interested to see how this vehicle sells. I'm really interested to see if this is one of those nameplates that they bring back for two years and then it's gone again. But I think as long as the RS is around, these things will sell. Overall, I have to say I am a very big fan of the 2019 Chevy Blazer. 
This thing is sporty. It's fun. It it can get rowdy when you want it to get rowdy. It That V6 really does pull. It makes good power. I love the vent controls. I don't like the auto start, start stop, but that's such a minor thing. Really overall, I'm very, very impressed with the Chevy Blazer. You guys should definitely check this out. As we know, the SUV market just keeps growing and growing and growing. And so I'm glad that they revived the Blazer nameplate. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to Chevy of Naperville for giving me their 2019 Chevy Blazer RS. This thing is awesome. Everyone at Chevy was super friendly. They moved around their showroom for me. So if that doesn't tell you anything, they're great people over there. Their information is up on the screen. Definitely give them a call if you're interested in these. They have six Blazers on the lot as of now, but of course they will get more and more as it approaches the official launch date in April. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, I, I,